Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. And we're here today with Tara Friedman who is in our studio performing the most beautiful opera songs you can ever imagine. And you're going to see them shortly here on our show. But first we're going to get a little background about Tara and what you're doing and where you're heading. What direction are you heading in with your opera? Well, I'm going to major in a vocal performance with a concentration in operatic studies when I go to college. And then once I get my degree, hopefully I'll start auditioning for opera houses, uh, starting with small ones and then working my way up and then hopefully one day getting to the Met or you know places in like Germany and Italy and just keep going up and up and up. <laughs> How long does it take for someone to keep performing in get to these well, special places? The female voice doesn't really stop developing until you're in your 30s. So that's why a lot of like the big opera divas are kind of older. So, you know, someone that's going on this track, they just, you know, really start doing actual opera in college and then, you know, starting to work their way up and then just, um, just keep going until you're like in your 30s, 40s. And that's like the prime of the voice. So I still have a long time to go, but... Yeah. It's <laughs> um, interesting. So you'll you'll be working for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be working for some good money. Thank yeah. God for that. Yeah. Well, listen, what made you pick opera? Is there something special that you feel? That you well, need? what happened was uh, when I was a really young girl, um, I took piano lessons. And one of the piano teachers I had, his wife was an opera uh, classical teacher. So I was maybe like eight years old at the time, and you know we realized I had a voice there. I was young, so I started taking lessons with her for a year. Or so, but I was so young that I didn't really understand what I was singing, and I was like, oh, you know, I want to go sing like pop songs that I hear on the radio. Right. So I left for a little bit, um, and then for a while I took lessons with someone else that uh, taught like Broadway show tunes, and I liked that. Um, but I had a friend who had this incredible voice, and um, I got the number of her singing teacher and started going to this teacher, and she taught opera, and I stuck with her for four years. So uh, about my second year of taking lessons with her, she said, there's this opera at the Met, it's called Torindo, I want you to go see it, because I can see you as this character one day. So I went to go see it, and just watching it was like so and inspiring. The is... The Metropolitan Opera House. Okay. Yeah. So, so everybody knows you. I'm like, the Met, okay, we're going to the Met game? <laughs> so, <laughs> not, not that one. <laughs> not that one. The, the Opera that House. That is so exciting. Yes. But you play piano. You also play guitar. Yeah. Um, aside from doing all the classical stuff, I write my own songs. Just This just for fun. Um, you know, I love doing it too. You know, especially it's different because I get to express myself instead of playing a character. I get to write what I feel and play what I feel instead of doing some character that someone else wrote, even though, you know, I love both aspects. Nice. So right. if you have the talent to write, then you should tell your story. Because a lot of people have a lot of stories to tell and they're wonderful. Especially you play guitar, you're like a one woman <laughs> band. Or you're a one woman band. <laughs> So now, when you sing in opera, obviously it's another language, it's Italian, yeah. right? Yeah. Italian. How do you feel like you sing versus your pop and going from opera? Well, swimming? there is a completely different technique to opera. You know, it takes years and years and years to, you know, perfect the language, is the diction, because it's, you know, it's I sing in Italian, I'm doing French and German. Do you understand, like, what yeah, you're yeah, oh, you so know, thank God, at least yeah. you know, you're not just saying, oh, you're going on, you're going on, you're going on, you know what's going on. Yeah, no, no, I do. Um, you know, that's especially important, because, you know, when you yeah. go and perform it, you got to be the character, so exactly. you got to know what you're singing about. Exactly, that's <laughs> Yeah, um, so, you know, I just... It's just, they're just different things, but you know, it's fun to do both. Right, right. Yeah. right. So what would you say to someone who is actually on the same level as you and so interested on in becoming an opera singer? How, what would you? I would just say to keep practicing, keep learning more, you know, go on YouTube and search singers, try and research singers' lives and, you know, just learn as much as you can. Because and does the teacher make a difference? Does your teacher make I a difference? I think, yeah, difference? definitely, because there are people that will just take your money and, you know, just say they're teaching you the greatest, but they just, you know, they'll only, you know, teach you halfway. But, you know, when you find a good teacher that's really committed and cares about you, 
just like, you know, my teacher, she cares about me not just on a singing level, but she cares about, you know, my health, my grades. If they care about you 100%, they'll wow. give you all they've got. So and that's how important. old are you, Tara? Um, I turned 17 at the beginning 17, of the month. 17, yeah. and you're going through, oh, this is so <laughs> wonderful. And you're going to Half Hollow High School West. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and you also just recently <laughs> sang for the Islanders, didn't you guys? Yeah, um, I'm in the Blue Notes, which is a vocal jazz group. It's, Yay. you know, an after school advanced. Oh, uh, Blue Notes. <laughs> yeah, it's an, it's an advanced jazz choir. So I guess the Islanders, they ask for like local high schools to sing. So they asked us and we sang um, yesterday and it was a lot of fun, you know, it's singing for like 16,000 people. It's wow, it really, it gets you, you it oh gets, my God. It, it gets you like really pumped up when you're really ready and you know, they're all cheering you on. It's exciting. I would have been singing double <laughs> off. I would have been like, whoa, I'm going, I would yeah. have been going up. That's so exciting. Yeah. Well, listen, I thank you so much for sharing this story <laughs> with us. And I want everybody to get ready for Tara Fee here on the Jeremy and Louis show. <laughs> Thanks. That is so awesome. <laughs>